What's going on YouTube? I just woke up, haven't shaved in 13 days, but I had to make this quick because it's my first highlight video of February. My first nice run of the of the month and hopefully it you know leads to a lot of good things. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't mind me. I just had to get this out quick. Enjoy the runs. I'll see you the next one. Beauty. Nice pot in the Centurion. Oh, boom. Let's go. Quads. Getting max. Love that. Boom. Love that. That's a bounty. That's a big stack. Right into the Ace King as well with 100 bigs. Let's go. Nice little setup there. Oh, going for another bounty. Can we string together two in a row though? Big question. I've been having trouble stringing two in a row. 22 big blind jamming range. No, ace queen is in there quite a bit, but also a lot of pairs. I think tens, nines, eights, sevens, even jacks in there. So we're going to do a lot of flipping here. I think ace jack suited for some players is just clicking call. So I'm going to try to win a flip. And like expected, I'm just having trouble stringing them together, man. It's a tricky table. 27, 27. Variance in the small blind. I guess I'm going to flat. This is a weird... Tough table with all the stack sizes at play. Are eights in your four bet range? Such a weirdly specific question. I feel weird about this. Such a oddly specific question about my four bet range. I feel like I don't even want to say. It's just, I don't know. Can we get the call here for a bounty, which we will. Blind versus blind. Nice spot for a bounty. They have a good hand. We have a better hand now. Nice. Um, ace through six. I'm going to play check here. Nah, let's play quarter. Let's play quarter. Quarter's fine. Even all my pairs like to bet a quarter. And then, you know, checking with our weakest ace looks okay. We could also go bet, bet, check. Five of diamonds on the river. I think I think here we go for like like a block sizing. Makes it look like pocket kings, pocket queens. They can jam if they have a flush. They can jam if they have an ace. Boom! Let's go. What a cooler. Five of diamonds. Beautiful card. Beautiful card for us. Uh, so often, man. So I raised here. I didn't actually see this stack. I don't know what I would have done differently. It's like, on these stacks, we could almost play a shove. Everyone's on 25 or less, except for variants. So, like, having a shoving range actually wouldn't have been so bad. But anyway, we get to see a flop, which is not so bad. Okay, I gotta stop losing these flips, dude. Like, I'm just... We just get zero deep runs. I really need to start winning these flips. Same 22 bounty in the final couple of the tables. Got a three bet here. Best of luck. Pocket jacks, 28 left. It's a flip. Nice. Let's go. Let's go, 53 big blinds. Puts us up with the bigger stacks here on the table. Gets us out of that uh, shortish, midish stack zone. It's good. I'm gonna play a check back here. It's a good turn. It's not, there honestly is not many good turns, but this is one of them. The deuce, the three, the four, all pretty good. The ace, the eight, the nine. Those are all the good cards, five, six, Jack, 10, queen, all bad. King kind of inconsequential though. And let's hope for a lot of the rivers I was mentioning in the first place here. Five doesn't really qualify as one of the good ones, but check back flop. Still a lot of bluffs here. Yeah, I think we're gonna call down the eight here. Oh, 
They bet like six big blinds here, not all in. That's the stuff right there. Um, call and try to improve or shove. I feel like most of my range is calling. Getting a decent price. That's the stuff, bro. That is the stuff. Spade, spade. That's the stuff. I just don't have ace, five of spades, and we're rolling. I think ace, five of spades is probably jamming turn, honestly. Unless they're balancing small bets with flush draws, but... Boom! Nice pot. Two out of 24 in the daily legends. I like a squeeze here. This range is vulnerable. This range should be wide into this range. Or into this stack. So I think we have a, a nice squeeze. Don't think we need to go that large either. Nice little play there. It's the final two tables. Tough one were the nines. I guess we just shove though. Last time I shoved against this guy, he had kings. And I had ace jack suited. This time I have nines. Let's hope the big blind has ace king, my friends. This would be huge. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, big spot. Nice. Great. It's a big flip, man. Massive. Let's go. Let's go. That is the pot that I've been losing over and over again. That's the one. It's the final 13. 50% equity. That's the one that's not been going well. And we won that one. Now, let's try to string together a couple of pots. Let's try to string them together here. I like the two barrel here. Nice. Good result there. It's $146 bounty. We won the flip against El Nino. That was just the variant spot. They got unlucky last time. Can we go two in a row for the big bounty? Yep. Okay. El Nino. Shove. Come on. Ace 4 0 for the 150 bounty. A lot of chips. Yes. Let's go. Oh, nice. The big blind's putting in chips. We're just going to call. The range is. Quite a few bluffs here, so that's where our EV is coming from. Boom. Going to call here. I suck it all in. Will not be strobe today. It's going to be Paradise City. Just made the final table of the Centurion. There's some deeper stacks to my left still, unfortunately, here with the King Queen, which makes this kind of awkward. Definitely very awkward. Let's hope it just folds through. I mean, if either of these short stacks go for it, it's an easy call, but if these stacks go for it, it's pretty awkward. Cause they can just have like pocket sevens. Even if they have like ace five, it's not so bad to, you know, cause if we, if they had ace five, we call, we win. We're getting that extra bounty money, this bounty money and the chip lead that basically wins us the tournament. So, you know, do they shove like hands like Jack 10? But anyway, if it's just, all right, for two bounties. Oh, what the heck? We all have king queen. This player goes for a 5x preflop. Actually, what do I like most here? Call or shove or three bit not on in? Let's go for a call. I think if I shove, what calls me is pairs mainly. Not a lot of like ace jack. And playing a position will always be okay. Could also just play a shove, but again, I don't know. It's like if they're do if they're trolling a lot preflop, then like let, let's put it this way: if they have like a lot of garbage that's just five xing, yeah, I shove, they fold. It's a decent pickup. But if they have like if the only hands are calling me are just like pocket pairs, that's like a really high variance spot that maybe we could avoid. Well, hopefully they just have like ace four. I could bluff this hand now, but I'm gonna check. Pull the deuce seven. I think they're good, but I, I, you know, I haven't played a micro sticks tournament in a long time. I don't usually filter them into the lobby. 
Chat can maybe answer you though. Baby shark or riot? Feel free to riot. Feel free to riot because I'm not playing it. What a big bet. What a, an aggressive play. Raise on the button, shove in the small blind, call in the big blind. And a call on the button. Wow, 40 big blinds. Both have pot left. What a spot. Never mind. Wow, pocket kings. Tricky. I like it. I'd like to think I would also call there. Feels quite natural, right, at a final table because you do have hands that, like, you know, because they're opening, you know, the button. So they're not going to be super, super tight. So after you call here, there's just going to be some, you know, easy folds at the end of the day. So you can have hands that want to call and then maybe fold uh, as a result of that. So yeah, putting aces and kings in there makes a lot of sense. I guess small three bet is the way to go. We want to let the big stack send it on us. Probably don't want to do too much shoving here anyway, so... They do decide on the fold. They were, it looks like they were thinking on it a, a quick second there, though. We were obviously rooting for the jam. Here we see a limp. Shove, shove, call. Short stack makes a full house. So it's actually the rooster busting. Wow. Okay, we get the raise king queen here. And we have a five big blind stack in the big blinds for the bounty, but they fold. And we get to go for this bounty. Pocket eights, $260 bounty all in for four bigs. Just a pretty straightforward jam. Big blind calls, and they cover everyone. They do cover everyone. Oh my god, I mean, come on, one time pocket eights. What do we run into here? God, this pot could be crazy. Eight, six, aces, we ran into aces, of course we did. <laughs> oh my god. I will quiet down. I mean, I mean, what was that? Oh my goodness. So the four big blind stack has kings. The 17 big blind stack has aces. This player blocks my eight, but it goes diamond, diamond. I don't know what my equity was on the flop there, but that is pretty insane. That was, that was pretty insane. Gonna play jam with ace queen against this range. Nice, good result. That was a crazy pot, holy smokes, dude. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm laughing about it. I can't even believe it happened. Wow, what a, what a pot. What a pot. All right, happy to still win with an eight here. I see there's definitely good properties to flatting here, but three bet is never bad. King Scorpio gifting another sub and a nice Roach dropping a first time sub. Welcome in. Welcome in Roach and thank you King Scorpio. Plays a quick four bet. I mean, I feel like we're on a stack where they can have queens and jacks. 50 bigs deep, like, I feel like they can have ace, king, queens, jacks. So I'm just gonna shove kings. Nice, big pickup. I mean, Definitely could have slow played. And if we're deeper, like, and they're never calling ace, king, queens, jacks, like, I don't have as much reason to shove, but. I was hoping it would go raise, shove. What? No. Yes. <laughs> yeah, st wait, stop. <laughs> yes! My, my, my time is paid off. All the bullshit is paid off. I mean, I... Wow. I mean, I guess we shove here. I'm assuming this is a shove. Wow, ace jack against kings. Probably get kings again. Fold. Fold, 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 fold. Nice. Oh, I love when things go well. This is crazy. Man, this spot is so sick. I mean, I was thinking about three bet call or shove. Because... You know, obviously this range, 
with the five big blind stack can be any two cards. So like I'm assuming we're making good money by shoving, even though it's high risk. So yeah, I wasn't really thinking about folding. I was thinking kind of three bet call and induce or, or just shove, but I don't really think we want to induce. So I just shoved and they had top of the range, king, king. I guess we can probably fold out sub seven X and I don't know, maybe hand like king 10 folds against double barrel. Pretty low risk double barrel. I mean, do they call down hands like nine eights? Yeah, I mean, I guess we go with it. It's not the best spot, not the worst. Okay, big flip with 11 left here. Money, nice. Another good result. Can't hate on it. I feel like there's a lot of different lines to take here. Post flop. Play, honestly, check call, check raise, large sizing, small sizing. It all sort of makes sense. Here, I think we just kind of commit with our equity. This is like the queen four spot, but I actually have a value hand on the river. And hopefully, like the queen four spot, they also just decide that they are committed here. Queen 10 with a club. That makes a lot of sense to call down. We're sitting in a, in a nice clean second place. I mean, who's got third? Third and chips is 460. So I have a big lead on third, but first has a huge lead on me. So final table should be interesting. The way the stacks are kind of set up here. I'm going to fold against this. Ace jack 6-5. We're heads up against Gina, who thinks I am a, just a fantastic player. They even said so in the chat. They love how I play. Really gonna call my king jack, and once the uh, once the overcall came, it seemed like an easy fold. Had them both dominated. I play flop check. Um, and we're gonna three bet the tens. Haven't really chosen a three bet sizing yet, so I'm gonna go for this. It's my first three bet of the match, so I feel like I'm just gonna go for what my hand wants. Since there's, I don't know, if there's no dynamic created yet, then I think it's uh, fine. All right, we lost the player. So we are gonna be down to the final table in the 320 super. I'm gonna play strobe whenever this heads up match finis finishes, which if I somehow keep running as good as I do, shouldn't be that long. I'm assuming there will be some sort of flip flop. It usually does happen, but that was a four bet with the ace five Benjamin, not a three bet, so. So yeah, we did make the final table here, but we're gonna save strobe till after, but a beautiful final table at that, the 320 main event of the day. Um, honestly, I was never affiliated with Poker Stars, Poker Me Now, yo. I'm not sure if that ever happened to either of them, but never to me, And uh, but I was not affiliated with them, so. Do you ever look at Poker Wiz for a laugh and see how it rates your play? I do look at my stats on my game i don't look at the chat bot though that as much as i love party i don't look at the chat bot check i don't know i mean i do have a little bit of ace x I, as deep as we are i guess i have a decent amount of ace x i have 8x i have 9x that floats you know hands that don't have a 10 in them are going to be better hero calls so this is just a fold i would assume this is how the final table looks look at my position here man so sick this might be a nitty final table for me. <laughs> Tens, I'm just gonna set mine here and that's about it. It's, it's one, two, three in chips in a pot. You don't usually see that. You don't usually see that. One, two, and three in a in a pot at an FT. Pocket pair with a heart against small bet here, doing pretty well. Big blind comes along. Flush completes. My hand's okay. In a weird pot here. Checks around on the turn. And I mean, it's a king eight deuce. You know, are they bluffing an eight? Are they bluffing a deuce? Kind of doubtful. Um, the flush did get there. 
Having the ten of spades is not so good. I block queen ten of spades, jack ten of spades floats, nine ten of spades floats. So they just still have a lot of king x, so I'm just gonna fold here. I'm gonna play a bet this time with the four five. Limp stab. Gonna bet big on the turn. Kind of feels better to use it as a bluff on the turn, because like... Like if I had like... I don't know, 9-5. I beat some of their 5s. You know, checking plays a little easier. It's top pair. We have nice suits, but we don't have a nice hand right now. Check, check is looking good. Want like a king-9, club. A7 and ace-queen. A7 went bounty hunting against the shorty, but not going to get there. So plays a nice erase and a check. Still have lots of ace x, like that just has the overcard in the gutter. Can have some weak pairs here if they're going polar. I don't know if I'm super confident betting here against that kind of range. It's like they either have like a hand like 10 3 or like an ace x a lot of the time. If they just have a hand like queen jack, then we're, we're winning on the turn. So river seven. Yeah, so they flopped the straight. Oof. Could limp fold. I mean, it's, it's not, I don't think it's going to be terrible. We're at a point now where we have a big lead on everyone, so I think just being patient is good. I'm gonna value by the river here. Definitely a hand that can do either on the flop. I think betting is good for sure. Check, check, nine. See a bet. Let's call. Seven, eight offsuit. Folding. And we'll call down. Check back flop. Block value. Alright, let's see some let's see some good cards here. Close. Close. There's some It looks nice. There's not a lot going for us here though. That's what I wanted to see. See if we see another delay bet. We do see another delay bet for the large sizing, just like last time. And last time I folded A6 offsuit here. In the second instance, we have the nut flush draw, so we have an easy call. River King. I mean, so we'll have some pairs here, but not many. Just gotta hope for the bluff, I think. Likes the delayed bluff. It's a pure raise. Oh, here we go. Ace King suited against deuces. It's a flip. Ace on the flop. Let's go. Boom! First place in the 109 Centurion. My first win. On the new party poker schedule, GG. Hmm, a call. Okay. Okay, I don't think we, you know, have a great reason to bet this flop. They're not folding pairs. They're not folding ace queen, ace king. They're not folding flush draws. Probably not even folding king queen. It's just not a lot. Not a lot to do on the flop. Let's check the turn. It's too bad. I was I was just gonna start to open up my range a little bit, but now I'm maybe going to showdown with Ace Eight. Just too bad. Everyone gets the no now. Does have the Ace Queen. I don't think this bounty is quite relevant enough to want to get involved here. Doing well against nines and eights, but pocket eights making a set on the turn, and we're gonna see our first elimination. GG. We're okay playing against the big blind too, if they defend. They do defend, we're just gonna play a small bet on ace, deuce, three, it's a good flop. Turns to four clubs, so their 5x gets there and their flushes get there. So now our ace is like kind of a medium type hand and our club is a medium type club. You know, if I had ace king with the king of clubs, I might want to force a bit more money in. I think this is just gonna be a check. Kind of an interesting spot. I mean, what am I value betting against? Not much. Especially on the queen. It's a lot harder to get called by pocket sevens now on the queen, right? Another Broadway. Has a 6-5 offsuit. Now this. Look at this little spot here. We have a big bounty. And a short stack of the big blind. And I pick up ace-king. And everyone calls and I miss the flop. Okay. That sucks. That sucks. Short stack folds. These two call. Out of position against everyone. There are some good turns. Ace, king, 10, diamond. Just 
We want it to check through. Just we want a cheap turn because this pot is already nine big blinds and we're out of position. Okay, it does check through. Turn is the nine. I mean, realistically, both players could have king ten, pocket nines. I have a tricky spot here, I think. I have a tricky spot here on the turn, I think. I mean, how are my outs here? 10 is decent, ace is... Diamond is... I mean, that's beautiful. I mean, that is just beautiful. God. Check, check. Queen, six, offsuit. Bro, these ranges. He flops two pair. Wow, so I really did need to hit my 10 or my diamond. I mean, they're out there. 10 diamonds are out there, but... Yeah, two pair, queen six. That's not the two pair I thought we were gonna see. I think we just got a call here for five bigs. I don't think it damages my stack enough to lose to, to warrant folding. It's like... Okay, fuck. Be nice to have more than 0% on the flop, obviously. Oh, pocket fives, pocket jacks, and ace 10. Alright, so ace 10 is going to be busting there. Very nice spot for the rest of the short stacks. I mean, I will admit it's a little awkward with ace 10 because you want you kind of want this bounty, but they're just not going to call that much. They're just going to let you bust, I think. I don't know. I definitely wouldn't have shoved. And big blind almost had a spot for a double knockout. Gets one of them, though. Oh, for a double knockout. I mean, I, I don't know. They hunt wide, so... I would assume this range to still be stronger than this range, but yeah, I mean, queen jack, wow. So far, nobody's busting. Oh no, that's so bad. Oh my god, that's so bad. Oh my god, the short stack trip, everyone. <laughs> that's so bad, that's so bad. We have another all in ace, deuce, and pocket nines. Nice to lock up a ladder of some sort. Okay, we have ace, queen, ace, nine here. Was that a raise call off? Interesting. What did they have? They had like 13 blinds? Oh no, they had 10. They had 10. I mean, okay. 10, 11. I mean, they might have yeah, suited aces, some broadways. I mean, it's doing better. It's doing better. The bounty was okay. I mean, it's nice to have laddered up a few times now. There's still a three-way tie here, which is quite sweaty, but... Um, yeah, I think ace jack will like kind of be the bottom of my shoving range, but they have not been tight So if they're not gonna if they're not that tight, I think we want to shove ace jack It's very very sweaty though If this player had shown to be very tight, I mean, I don't even I don't think I would shove here honestly Bad news all around good news. Oh my god, let's go boom we chop and we ladder oh my god so sick. Let's go. Wow. Terrible result, or a terrible spot, but a good result. Whoo! That was nice. I don't know. We, I've just seen this player active enough. I think Ace-Jack will do well. I run into the top of their range, and the big blind also hunting my bounty. Oh my goodness, that was lucky. Solid, solid, solid. Also had less than a big blind. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot how short they were at once. At one point, that's crazy. You're right. Huge pot with the ace deuce. One big blind. They had 9-7-0. Oh. We play another three bet here, non -all in. Yep. Ah, okay, it's a flip. Ah, dang. Wow, what a forehand that just did not go away. Forehand, it did not go our way. All right. Good game, guys. Close. Very close. $2,000. Or, sorry. 1999 It's priced like a freaking bet or something. Finally, a nice grind, at least. We had a tournament win in the 109. We shipped it outright for 3.5k. Today was fun. Five more gifted from Poker Me Now. Yo, thank you. Peace out.